dear student welcome to my channel topic of this video is shift reduce parser which is bottom of parser and this is the fourth video on this topic now let us discuss the shift reduce parser in detail a shift reduce parser is a type of bottom up parser used in nlp and compiler construction it processes the input from left to right and uses stack to hold and manage the symbol the parsing process involves two main operation shift and reduce shift operation this involve moving the next input symbol onto the stack reduce operation this involves replacing a sequence of symbol on the stack which forms the right hand side of the production rule with the non terminal symbol on the left hand side of the rule so this shift and shift and reduce operation will be clear when we are solving the example unlike cyk and pcfg it should not require that given grammar should be in strictly cnf that is chomsky normal form the procedure can be summarized as follow initialize start with empty stack and the input string shift push the next input symbol onto the stack reduce if the symbol on the top of the stack match the right hand side of the production rule and replace them with the right with the left hand side of the non terminal of that rule continue shifting and reducing until the input is completely read and the stack contains the start symbol of the grammar that is means input string is accepted now we will see first simple example after that we will take the example related to natural language processing now two production rule are given capital s that is start symbol is giving a small a capital a and capital a is giving b now we require to pass the string input ab whether it is accepting by the shift to this parser or not if we see s is producing a and a can be replaced with the ab so this ab is reachable from the start symbol so this is the acceptable string now we will see whether it is accepted by shift to this parser or not initially stack is empty our input is ab first we require to push this symbol from the left hand side onto the stack so we will do which operation shift operation so a is pushed onto the stack now remaining symbol is b and after that we can see that whether any uh, whatever that a is entered here into the stack whether any production rule right hand side matches so right hand side is not match exactly so that's why again we will do which operation shift operation and we will shift the ab now this is the stack so this is the uh, top of the stack from the b side now we'll see that b matches with the a so now we are doing the reduce operation so we are applying the rule a is given b so here now our b is replaced by a now we'll see a and capital a yes the rule is present left hand side right hand side matches with the left hand side so we are making reduction operation and s is giving a capital a now this is nothing but s and that is nothing but the success so when at initially the stack is empty and at last stack contains a start symbol at that time our string is accepted by this particular parser since the stack now contains a start symbol s and the input is fully consumed the input string is accepted advantages efficiency especially for deterministic grammar as they operate in linear time simple implementation the algorithm is relatively simple to implement making it suitable for many applications in nlp and compiler design it handles the ambiguity it can handle ambiguous grammar and conflicts using technique like lookaid or precedence rule flexibility can be extended with additional mechanism to handle more complex grammar or resolve conflict disadvantage limited lookaid basic shift to this parser use limited lookaid which can lead to conflict and make it hard to parse some complex grammar so when we are solving the problem we will come to know that loop head actually is required a uh, conflict resolution may require complex conflict resolution strategies such as loop head or precedence rules to handle the ambiguities in this video we are not using the limited loop ahead but you can see that as we are doing the backtracking so it is very much important that the facility of loop head is required error handling error handling and recovery can be difficult to implement effectively in some cases especially with large input string or complex grammar memory usage can become significant due to stack operation now we will see the example this particular grammar we have already seen in previous videos so statement is book that flight and we require to this use this grammar so this grammar should not be followed the uh, rules of the chomsky normal form that is cnf that's why here three non terminal symbols are there so this is the grammar and we require to 
parse the statement book that flight now we'll start now stack input remaining an action initially stack is empty our statement is book that flight and first we will do the shift operation onto the stack now book is pushed onto the stack now remaining statement is that light that flight now here we will check whether book is present in rule or not so we can see that now here the ambiguity comes because here book can be noun as well as verb so we will make first book as verb and in the next example we take the book as noun and at that time there is need of backtracking so in the first example i have taken for simplicity as verb gives the book so verb gives the book so it is replaced by verb now next is that flight again we will do the shift operation verb that input is flight now we can see that the word induced or pushed onto the stack is that so that is nothing but determiner so determiner gives that now verb determiner flight shift operation now we will again do the shift operation flight flight is nothing but the noun so noun noun gives a flight now again we will use nominal gives a noun so nominal gives a noun so verb determiner nominal now we can see that determiner nominal gives the np phrase so here we are doing the reduce operation np gives determiner nominal so it is replaced by np now we will see the verb np now verb np use the vp phrase so this is vp and we can see that s is giving the vp therefore we can get is after that s is giving vp so vp is replaced by s and at last we are getting the start symbol so this statement is accepted by the grammar now here we require to make one change here grammar is given vp as verb and vp as verb np so when verb is pushed onto the stack no need to convert it to the vp because it is a uh, on the production side only one symbol is there so basically we require to search for this pattern that is verb followed by the non phrase now we'll see the same example but only initially we replace this book as a noun instead of verb here now book that flight in which book is actually verb but we are using now noun so if we do the operation we will come to know that at last we are not getting the reduction and by reduction by applying the reduction operation we are not getting the start symbol so here we require to do the backtrack and during that backtrack if we are knowing the limited look ahead or it has the facility of limited look ahead then at that time at proper point we can take the decision and there is no chances of backtracking so this is only drawback but it can be Uh, overcome with the facility of look ahead that is limited look ahead and this is possible because ambiguity is there because here the book can be act as noun and book can be act as verb now we'll see the next example the man read this book now the grammar is same for simplicity i have keep the same grammar and you can see easily empty stack the man read this book first we will do the shift operation the is shifted on to the stack remaining man read this book then we can see that rules are there that determiner gives the so it is replaced by determiner after that we will push next symbol on to the stack here one step is missed out that is nothing but shift operation but that is okay shift the man then read this book now we can see that this man belongs to the noun category so it is replaced by noun then nominal and as determiner nominal is there so again it becomes a np phrase after that we will do again the shift operation push the read here then this book then read is again the verb then we are writing np verb then again next shifting so when we shift this then again it is determiner then np verb determiner last one remaining is book now here again if we use book as verb it will again create the problem but for simplicity i have taken book as a noun 
so in this way we can continue so this is very easy to understand than the cyk parser so now book is replaced by noun noun after that nominal determinal nominal is replaced by np verb np is replaced by vp and np vp is replaced by s so by seeing the rule we can easily check so that's why i have written in this example if we take the book as noun then backtracking is required sorry if we take the book as verb if we take book as verb then backtracking is required because in this statement the book act as a noun but if it is verb then backtracking is required for the same grammar the next statement is does that flight include some meal so follow the same steps even you can check only we require to go step by step when to shift operation and when to reduce the operation so whenever we push the symbol onto the stack immediately we require to check the grammar whether reduction can be possible or not if reduction not possible push the next symbol again repeat the same steps so i am not explaining all the steps you just check it is very easy to follow the steps so at each step either shift or reduce operation is required so this is the remaining portion of the given problem even you can see from here that determinal meal meal is a noun noun nominal np phrase verb np is vp and we can see that auxiliary np vp they are nothing but s so immediately we can see the from the grammar also so this is all about the shift reduce grammar which is using the bottom up approach and these are the references used for this slide now in the next video i am going to explain pcfg that is probabilistic context free grammar which is nothing but the modification of cyk approach thank you